What's happening? It's your boy back again. Chosen Pharaoh. Got like three bitches or more, man. What's your pussy just want? Hey, look at me. Fuck on me. Look at me. Fuck on me. Yeah, look at me. Fuck on me. Look at me. Fuck on me. This shit is fire. Oh, I should have been taken. Yo, what the fuck is it? And that's why it's fucking suicide. Yo. Honestly, from listening to his interview, because I wanted to listen to his interview, I wanted to know him before I listened to his music. Battery low. So three years ago, a subscriber by the name of White Boy with Bangs asked me. How and where were you when you found out X passed away? As of late, he deleted the comment. I don't know if because I took too long or he didn't want me to do it, but. Two years, I asked him, I bet I'll make a video about it soon. And I haven't. I never made a video about it. Let me try to give you a rundown of like where was I when I like heard that he died so i've seen it on uh, instagram like they, they you know like whenever a celebrity dies nowadays you know people are quick to say a sacrifice people are quick to say the government illuminati and all this types of stuff like they give the whole like tupac rendition of and part of me felt skeptical too because unfortunately we all had to see that in video but mysteriously, he did not have his tree tattoo on his forehead, you know, which, you know, and I don't want to put like, I, like when it comes to that, it's a very thin line, you know, it's a very thin line because there's, there's like people out there that genuinely feel that he's still alive and there's others that accepts that he's gone. You know, me, I can't even tell you, you know, but for what I know, I, I just, you can never know. You never really know, you know. If anything, I was in New York crashing at a friend of mine's over the summer. And like, that was probably the second summer I've ever had to myself because Yo, I swear, editing this, this is like clip notes. So, yeah, like it was my sec, it was my second summer, and it was the year that I graduated. I don't know how I didn't mention that. Okay, dragging in this thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, get it, give it to me, give it to me, give it. <laughs> Y'all that don't know me, like the the high school. In the middle school that I went to, I didn't technically have summer. I would only have like two weeks of summer, you know? So me spending my summer in New York. And so like that part, when I was talking about um, summer, not having summer and then saying my first two summers, that's kind of a contradiction for new people. What's up, new people? I moved. I moved out of New York and I live in Baltimore. I went to Prison. Was probably, it was probably, you know, most likely one of the, my best summers, you know, you know, staying over at my friends. And he also had a rooftop at the time, you know, so whenever we wanted, we chill up on top of the rooftop, you know, to can watch the sunset come up or watch the sunset go down, you know. I'm gonna go back to why X is like my one of my favorite and I believe my last favorite artist because the in the visual of who he was, how transparent he was as an artist. There's no there's not many artists as transparent as he was. Despite even him being signed to a label, he was very close to his fans even like messaging them you know like 
And you know, now that I think about it, like, I mean, I had a few friends, very few friends that I had that actually listened to X, like, would listen to his, like, all of his songs, no matter how, you know, like, I remember reacting to it. I remember reacting to it and I was saying that like it's like a rage like a trappish rage like it's he the way how he developed his own sound you get what I'm saying and like no other bro like no other artist no other artist can be as diverse as he was you know and like yo like even with like the whole Drake beef, like he showed people that he don't have to stick to this aggressive, angry sound that people like known him as, you know? And like those people that like didn't, because there were people that I know that was like, nah, they didn't really listen to X cause he's really dark or he's like, you know, they don't like the type of music that he, you know, that he was labeled as, you know, I felt like those people never really gave him a chance and kept them in there because after a while, he didn't even want to make that type of music that he did on SoundCloud because, you know, he's he's an individual that like possibly most likely the like no matter how big he got, I believe he evolved, you know? He evolved and it's like, I hate it when an artist or a person for that matter is evolving and slowly finding themselves or, find, or healing for the most part gets killed or like in the most hardest ways like you know like I bro I like I don't know like it's literally a conspiracy bro like it's like it's like it's it's so touchy because it's like I don't want to say it is because, like, people literally seen video, but you can never know what's actually real anymore when it comes to this world. Like, but when it came to him, bro, that has been the most realest artist thus far, you know? Like, he didn't want to be compared to Tupac, but believe it or not, as far as his influence was, he... He, he's our generation of Tupac. Yeah. yeah, bro. Like, there's no other. And that's the beautiful thing. How unique he was. How genuine he was. How much he loved his fans. You know, like, he treated... Bro, this nigga treated his, friend, his fans like they were peers and his friend. That's how much he touched as like, that's how many hearts he touched, you know? Um, yeah, and like around that time for me, you know, it's something, it's something about death or at least, well, death in general, but sometimes speaking for myself, death with like famous people or artists or known people in the world it's motivation you know? and when I say that I don't mean in a bad way I mean something about death makes you rethink about your life and rethink on your decisions on what you're here to do for this world. It's a reevaluation of such a sink in my chest, bro. Like, damn. Like, 
despite first off the first time i ever seen x's face was obviously his mugshot even way before like i even known he made music i seen a picture of his mugshot amongst other mugshots on facebook right and the caption of it was like attractive criminals or whatever if you guys ever seen it you've probably seen a female version and a male version right and that one dude that went to jail and became like a whole superstar model like that's the first time i've ever seen x despite all what media was saying about him like i watched i started to watch his interviews you know and i remember while i was in high school I was supposed to go to one, like, literally when he came out of jail, like, when he got, when he went viral off a of look at me, I was supposed to go to one of his concerts, and just something happened, and I, you know, couldn't get a ride, and it was like a free concert at that, bro, like, that's what made me feel even more vexed, because, like, I was like, yo, I had such a chance to see him. You know, um, what do you call it? But yeah, bro, around that time for me, like, chilling on top of the rooftop or whatever, that, that summer for me was kind of, that summer was a great summer, because, like, around that time, I was low key starting, you know, um, a little, a little, I was like around that time, me and this friend at the time that I used to be cool with May was making a following on Instagram and it was, it was, it was, it was one of those things where it's like, other there were other accounts in other states or countries that made you know this thing if you guys don't know i don't know why i was being so humble about um mr Trep. like it just came and went that's all that it like i guess was yeah that's all i got to say about that and we gave out like clothes to the homeless because you know Jaden Smith, you know he has a brand and stuff, and we did that thing, and like that was the beginning of us like making that. Sometimes great things come to an end, you know, but it's on how to continue and it's on how to like keep striving despite things not going the way you. I guess maybe saw it or the way you wanted it to be. I don't know. I felt called to like make this video for some reason. And I believe that reasoning is to be that like bad days should be celebrated too. You know, like we in this day and age, like we feel numb to some of our emotions. And like, sometimes we don't know exactly how to release things or to properly express those emotions. And like, that's one of the things that X struggle with says, you know, um, his closest friend, Slum God, you know, and I believe the reason why X was so influential is because he showed that raw pain that everyone always hides. He showed that very authentic rawness of what it felt to feel pain, what it felt to feel sorrow and depressed, you know? And despite that, he, he showed he was able to like show funny sides and happier sides of himself. But it's when you're alone by yourself, that silence by yourself, are you capable of enjoying that? You know, 
We need to enjoy the silence. We must enjoy the silence of ourselves, you know? That's summer for me, man. It was cool. I don't know, those, those great times, you know, sometimes we'll be so high with happiness that we'll forget that it can come down at any minute, you know? But I want to remind you guys, those dull, those rough, aching times, those times are great because why they're so great, Pharaoh? It's like I can't make this video any longer, bro. To like little elaborate like on that part where I was like, worst times can be great, even though like how could you even like say such a thing, bro? Because like there's times where it's like a wave of just bad vibes, and I say they can be great. They are great, and people most most of the time look over them. Those worst of times. Those are the times where those challenging times, those are the times where you're evolving, like you are shedding your beliefs or you are shedding why you are feeling this way. Or it may even be in that cycle of a loop of that depressing memory or so, you know, those are the challenges within our lives. Those are in a way, kind of like milestones of remembering yourself and remembering why you're here, why, what it is to actually live, what it is to actually like, you like, like I said, evolve. You either evolve or repeat, you know, and you keep repeating, keep repeating until you actually like learn that lesson or heal, you know, and sometimes it's hard hell to get out of that rut though and I feel like that was the reason why I was like yo let me stop playing and make this video because like it's like if you are capable of encouraging other people if you're capable of giving advice or have the skills to help someone simply just help another person or as much people as you can that really helps the world you know heals the world even you know because like not to get in too much we're all collective consciousness like the thoughts that we have the ideas that we may have they're like yours but you're not the only person that has these feelings or have these type of thoughts and sometimes we even have thoughts that are not considered ours you know but that's a whole nother topic. Let me resume 50 seconds of talk. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know at the moment right now. But I don't know. Whenever I do feel my worst, I try my best to remind myself that I'd be like, yo, this is temporary. You know, like... If I can find just a li a smidget of joy in the bad day, it's cool. It's all right, you know? If I can find something that can make me laugh or make me put a smile on my face through worse times, it gives that hope within that faith that, man, it's gonna be all right, you know? And like, I couldn't tell you how many times I would listen to X so I can cry, so I can release that pain. Because there's not enough things that are actually real in this world. You know, like there are, there are, don't get me wrong. There are, look at me, there are, but actually genuine, like, for, na for sakeness of just humanity, for sakeness of just love and how it feels to be loved, actually unconditionally loved, you know. 
for real. For real, man. And I say, and that's why I say that X will be one of my last favorite artists. Like, I would probably love other artists, you know, but never as much as I love my damn self. Because, yo, boy, yours truly is one, you know. But, god damn, bro, the way that he did it was like he been chosen <laughs> like he's been damn near before like he wanted to make music he knew you know and i resonate with that i resonate with that you know especially when i watched his um when i watched his um interviews and he would talk about spirituality and he would talk about types of shit that no other artist be talking about once he once he spoke about lucid dreaming and astral projection i was like that's my nigga you know like the like the diversity of the music that he listens to and how he was he's just able to dribble like any <laughs> Um, any fucking um, uh, um, genre. Like, that nigga was damn near like fucking Kobe with any genre. It didn't matter, bro. It was for sake of the art. It's for sake of the love of those that need healing. I damn near can go on and on, but I think I've said... I think I've said everything, you know? So, to that subscriber that asked me... Um to do this video three years ago you know i appreciate you for even you know asking you know because i damn near i damn near i damn near be wondering what's the next video i should do and you kind of helped me out with that and like your question was always in the back of my mind whenever i think of it um comment down yo comment down below if you were an ex friend and what's your favorite songs? What's your, what's your, just let, let's have a conversation. You know, let's have a conversation in the comments down below. Um, you know, s slap that like button if you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're new here, subscribe if you would like, you know. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, 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 I thought about rearranging my outro by saying everyone claims to be chosen, but only you can be the one. So right now I'm editing this video and it's probably been like months since I like did it. Y'all that subscribe to me, y'all can obviously tell I have a hard time with consistency, but um, I'm probably going to drop this the day of his birthday and like, yo, like he affected a lot of people, bro, like. Shit was really too soon, you go, you know. That's why, I, like, he, I loved him because he known he was, like, despite how sad he was and how he felt, he was spiritually very intelligent, you know, very intelligent, like. His interviews is amazing, bro. Like, that's why when people were judging him, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but when people was judging him, I'm like, yo, it's just that he's, that nigga's in the light. And once you have some type of record or some type of negative thing attached to you, it's hard to, like, rub that shit off, you know? Like, only those that really... 
I don't even want to say that. Like, I loved how intimate and how genuine and how transparent he was to his fans, you know? Like, honestly, I can really, like, talk about bro, like, on and on. Like, I have a friend that, like, I just now and then personally really, like, talk about, like, who he was as a person, you know, and it's really sad, bro, like, like, man, every time I see videos of X, like, giving advice on Instagram, I'm like, yo, it's like, he's here in spirit, but it's like, damn, son, like, we gotta... Like, as people, as artists, too, we have to... Honestly, it's like, I was going to say we have to, like, have each other's backs. You get what I'm saying? Like, not that, like, he didn't have, like, people in his corner that had his back, because he sure did, you know, but... From seeing, like, Ski Mask video and saying that, like, he just had trouble with, like his own feelings and like I can imagine how like people that have a similar you know mindset of just like feeling empty without even actually like knowing where this void is coming from you know that's why like I felt like he preached on about like bettering yourself writing down how you feel you know even if you don't even read it you know but if you do actually save it like this is what i like i don't know if i said this in the other video but like like since middle school and when i started high school i made sure every year like i get a journal to like write my thoughts and things down because like it's so much you can suppress in your head. There's so much that, like, fear can consume you. Like, it can really hinder you from the unknown potential that you have with inside you, bro. Like, and I also said that, like, he he's, like, my last favorite artist and stuff, which is, like, it's true, but not completely true, because there's always going to be new artists popping up and stuff, but, like, ain't nobody going to compare to that nigga, you know, even if a person is great, or, you know, like, a dude was a genius, man, you know, and it sucks to lose geniuses off of shit that's not even worth it, you know? But then again, words are spells. And you gotta be careful, you know? Like, personally, me, I don't like staying around people that talk down on themselves. Because it's like, there's certain people that kind of can't help it, but it's it's... You're, att you're literally attacking yourself, you know. And I'm sure those that are watching probably know someone like that, you know. But if, like, if this is, like, one of your friends, just make sure that, like, they're okay and check on them and stuff, you know. And depression is real, bro. Honestly, that's, like... No excuse, but sometimes, like, especially for me, for a long time, I just don't be as consistent as I want to on here because sometimes depression or sometimes, like, laziness, you know? Not saying that I don't care about y'all. It's just, like, life be life in. And it's like, I'm not even, like, trying to make excuses or complain. I'm feeling real hot right now. It's been six minutes and 25 seconds. Um, I got a lot of editing to do. And videos that I have for y'all is just 
I haven't edited them. Um, they're on the way. Please comment down below. Hi, yeah, you know, if you, you guys are a friend, a fan of X, and honestly, most of y'all probably subscribe to me because of me reacting to X, and it's probably like my most commented video since, and I appreciate you guys so much, more than y'all like really know, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to give out this content and be better for you guys because I dead ass love you guys bro and like I don't apologize if you guys like really really love my content and I just you know like I still haven't like I have to get to a certain amount of views on my reels and my videos so if I actually want to get this popping, bro, like, I got, I got to keep going, you know. And speaking of, like, depression and stuff, like, for the longest, like, I y'all seen from my other videos, I have not felt like my absolute happiest self. And, like, it took me to really go through my shadow work for real to, like, feel this way. And, like, lately I've been ecstatic like I'm so hyped for what's to come I'm so hyped for what I have to dish out I got so much to say and so much to um offer you guys you know and yeah bro I couldn't ask you guys enough thank you so much you know like we right now we're only at three thousand seven hundred and twenty four subscribers sometimes it will go to like 27 and then people will just unfollow and then it will always stop at 27 so let's make this happen y'all i'm out y'all birds another another cliff note right because i know somebody's gonna ask me this bro. person involved is deaf like going to jail and stuff like that and how x specifically said if I get murdered, it was because of Drake. And that shit really, like, dawns on me, too, bro. Because, like, I really fucked with Drake. You get what I'm saying? And it had me mixed feelings now about the dude. Like, when, like, he stole bro's, like, uh, flow, like, he never replied. He never replied to that. Those disses. On, on 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 Travis's song on um I forgot the name of the jump right now. And that that we would call it that little clip of X um getting hit with the boulder and the references, the references after he's gone, bro. You be like, y'all cannot not it's fucked up. Like it made me really not like low key even fuck with Drake and like fucks with Drake. At least his music. I don't know him as a person and I definitely still been saying I need the mox man chills. But as far as that, that shit is not like is mad skeptical. And um when it comes to the world of Holly Weird, like I truly have a like a belief of like like not even sacrifices, but just like when you when you when you piss a certain person off or when you um do something that they don't like, they can like F which our identity for real. Like for real. Y'all y'all seeing, you know, y'all witness it yourselves. You feel me? Like it seems like I can never finish this video. It is now like I was gonna post the video earlier. You know, just to get into that algorithm, but honestly, I don't really care care too much. As long as I made the video about Ja, like that's what matters to me, and the fact that I low key haven't been getting much sleep, so yeah, I slept most of the day. And also, I wanted to ask you guys if you guys would like like a compilation of just like X, like I mean, y'all can look it up yourselves, but like. I fuck with X so much that I'm willing to put a compilation of just like his advice to his fans. 
because it's very, very, very valuable and useful information to, like, put it on this channel. I don't know. That was just a random thought. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, yo. So I hope you, if you made it this far, yo, like, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for watching all of that, chatting. Some people don't like when I do these venti type of videos. Some people do. But for those that do and got this far, thank you so much. And there will be more coming soon. It's your boy, Chosen, Pharaoh. Everyone claims to be Chosen. Only you can be the one. I'm out, y'all. Yeah.